the storm lifts towards the northeast. And we are talking about a lot of wind, blizzard conditions in many areas, tremendous amounts of snow, and the storm will move very, very slowly as we go right on through Monday evening and right on into Tuesday. And that is the reason why we are expecting so much snow. Take a look at the forecast amounts here. We are talking about in the area indicated in the lavender color in the center, the bullseye there, we are talking about more than two feet of snow perhaps. In some cases, one to two feet of snow and then a large area of more than a foot of snow as indicated by the white. We've sent out a team of meteorologists to cover this storm, and we begin tonight with Jeff Mora, who's in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. And Jeff, looks like this one's going to be a doozy. It sure does, Carl. There's no two ways about it. Uh, I keep telling folks here, this is just the preliminaries. This is just day number one. Uh, typically, you think of storms lasting maybe 24 to at most maybe 36 to 48 hours. I mean, often on our live shots, we fly somewhere, we do the storm the next day, and then the next day we're gone and, you know, we can go home. That's not going to be the case with this storm. As you just mentioned, it's going to hang around for several days. So what we got here today is not the big storm. This is just the beginnings of the big storm. And we ended up with about a half inch to maybe three quarters of an inch of wet snow on the ground. Temperatures here today have stayed above all day, but they have been dropping. Let's go ahead and show you uh, exactly what the snowiest March ever was, 13.4 inches back in 1958. Now, we're nowhere near that, obviously, yet we haven't had any snow yet in March. And the snowiest storm ever was the big one back in 1996, where we got 30.7 inches of snow. Will this one bring that much? Probably not, but it's going to be a significant storm lasting all the way into midweek. We'll be here to update you live. Let's go back to Jim Cantore now. He's been at Times Square all day. Jim? And that's a challenge I ask anyone to take on, that's for sure. It's been a busy day here at Times Square as everything's just moving along and normal. You know, people are out this morning getting their coffee, grabbing the paper, whatnot. And uh, now this evening, uh, they are definitely out and about wondering why we've been standing here all day. They're like, where's the storm, Jim? When's the worst of this going to hit? And that's the thing, folks. We've had so much lead time with these computer models. It's almost like you expect it to be here. Like Jeff said, we come in, we do the storm, we leave. But this one's going to be around for a while, and we're going to probably be here till Wednesday or Thursday. So definitely hang with it. Bear with the storm, because the worst is definitely yet to come. Now, we got a chance to talk to a few fine New Yorkers and tourists as well, and this is what they had to say about the storm. Cindy, what do you think about the snow that's coming in? I'm worried and I want to get home soon so I don't get stuck in New York. So what are you doing here right now? I just saw a play. I just saw um, Fosse. So uh, what are you doing to prepare for the storm? Oh, I'm going to go home and get my bed. <laughs> And no doubt uh, some people have mixed views about this storm as well. I want to show you the north side of Broadway here, which is where we are. And as you can see, it's just a busy night here. Traffic continues to head up Broadway. Uh, lights are flashing everywhere. It's just a big advertisement if you've ever